Can you tell a sheep from a goat? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Dorothy Day was an American journalist, social activist, and a devout Catholic who co-founded the Catholic Worker Movement. Inspired by her faith and a commitment to social justice, Day dedicated her life to serving the poor and marginalized through the Catholic Worker Movement. They established houses of hospitality where she provided food, shelter, and support to the homeless and destitute. She advocated for nonviolence, workers' rights, and the principles of distributism, which emphasized the equitable distribution of resources and the importance of community. They live in solidarity with the poor, often experiencing hardship and poverty herself, as she worked alongside those she served. She believed in the inherent dignity of every human being and sought to create a society based on principles of love, compassion, and social justice. Throughout her life, Dorothy Day embodied the teachings in today's gospel. By recognizing the presence of Christ in the marginalized and responding with acts of kindness, mercy, and solidarity, her commitment to serving others and advocating for systematic change continues to inspire individuals and communities around the world to this day. In today's Gospel reading, in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 to 43, Jesus told a story about the time when he would come back as king to separate the sheep from the goat. He will place the sheep on his right side and the goats on his left. You know, the sheep are the ones who help others in need. Jesus said, you helped me when you fed the hungry, gave water to the thirsty, welcomed strangers, clothed the naked, cared for the sick, and visited prisoners. But to those who didn't help, the goats, Jesus replied, You didn't help me when you saw others in need. This passage makes a distinction not only between the sheep who have compassion and the goats who do not but between those who are in a position to help and those who are in need, those who have and have nots. The least live at the mercy of others pressured into particular behaviors due to circumstances. Their choices are severely limited. Their existence implies the you know, contrasting status of the greatest. You know, judgment, it seems, weighs more heavily on those who have more choice. You know? abundance to share, time to spare, and resources with which to be benevolent. Those who are in a position to help has a choice. Do you want to be a sheep or a goat? If you come to think of it, the beauty of being compassionate lies in the transformative power both for the giver and the receiver. Compassion is a, a profound expression of empathy kindness, and understanding towards others, you know, regardless of their circumstances or background. Moreover, compassion is a ripple effect that extends far beyond you know, the initial act of kindness. It inspires others to emulate such behavior, creating a chain reaction of goodwill. St. Teresa of Calcutta once said, and I quote, do you want to do something beautiful for God? There is a person who needs you. This is your chance. In your prayer time today, consider taking a moment to honestly reflect as to who you identify with most strongly. Are you a sheep? A goat? 
or somewhere in between? How does it make you feel? Then ask God to open your heart to the people around you, not so much in fear of His judgment, but more out of your love for Him. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, you're the source of all good things. Thank you once again for today's Gospel reading. Thank you once again for reminding us about the importance of compassion and kindness you know, towards others. God, please forgive us. Forgive us for the times when we miss an opportunity to show your compassion. Open our hearts to the people around us. Not, not so much in fear of your judgment, but out of our love for you. And help us to see the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, in those who are in need. And allow us to respond with love and generosity. Guide us to be like the sheep in today's gospel readings, ready to serve and care for those around us. May our actions reflect your love and bring glory to your holy and mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you and your families, our Catholic faith, and Couples for Christ.